why in this video I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iDevice on version 7.1.2 using Pangu again, the same application I used to jailbreak 7.1.1 because Apple did not patch it. So first I'll show you that I'm on, indeed on 7.1.2 as you can see. And last time I did my tutorial on Windows because they did not have a Mac version. But now they do have a Mac version. So I will be showing you this tutorial on my Mac. So first you have to install the Pangu application version 1.1.0. Just click the Mac if you use your Mac or Windows. The procedure is still the same. And this jailbreak supports all devices that can run iOS 7.1.2. And it works on 7.1 to 7.1.x as it says on the beginning of the site. And this is a fully unthreaded jailbreak. So after you've installed the Pangu application, open it up. And it will recognize your device as you can see iPod 5 7.1.2. And in iTunes, make sure you back up your device before you continue with this jailbreak whether it's on iCloud or on the computer back it up in case of anything going wrong and after you're done backing up go back to the Pangu application and click jailbreak and it will tell you to go to the settings and change the date so I'll show you on my device now so you go to general and date and time and turn on set automatically and change the date to June 2nd and 8.30 p.m. As you can see on my computer the application is still continuing that means that this is the right date this is when the developer had the um, developer options to insert the jailbreak so now it's in injecting bundles and the jailbreak should continue and now in it says to tap the pango icon so go back to your home screen and go to your free page and you'll see there is a pango icon and then they'll ask you if you're sure to open the application because it's from a different source. Just press continue to continue with the jailbreak. And as you can see, it'll say keep your device connected and do not close the app. So do not interact with the device right now. So don't press like the home button or the power button or the volume buttons. Just leave your iDevice as is and it will continue with the jailbreak. And now it's rebooting the device as you can see on the device and it says in the application. And it says that my device has to be unlocked to continue the jailbreak. And it will ask that it cannot verify the server identity. So I'm just going to press continue. And now the jailbreak is complete. As you can see in the Pango application, it says done, but I'll just keep it connected as it reboots and we do the Cydia process. And iTunes is saying that my device cannot be synced. Do not worry if you get this error. The device will connect after the jailbreak is complete. As you can see, we got some Pango boot up screens and it's continuing to boot the device and now if I unlock my device I'll have Cydia so I'll tap Cydia and it will load it will prepare the file system and then reboot when completed as you can see on my computer on the Pango application it says that my device is already jailbroken and we do have Cydia so this jailbreak so far is a success, so I'll exit out of the Pango application. And as you can see in iTunes, as I said, the iPod will sync 
after it has been jailbroken, so it's syncing right now. It is loading up, and if I scroll down to the bottom, as you can see, iPod 5 7.1.2 on Cydia 1.1.12, and it's reloading the data. So this jailbreak was a success, and as I said at the beginning of this video, it's fully untethered and works on all devices compatible of 7.1.2. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can check out my site, Twitter, and Facebook, which will be down in the description. And thanks again for watching.